I'm Betsy Giovinardi, the CAD teacher here at Melrose High School. Here at Melrose High, we have three different levels of CAD. The first is Foundations of CAD, where the kids are introduced to both Autodesk Inventor and Revit, and then they can branch off from there and go into either the Advanced CAD for Engineering, which focuses on Inventor, and then I bring in Fusion. And we also then, for the architectural path, focus more on Revit. In 2017, our high school underwent a renovation to the library, at which time we also decided to allocate space for a makerspace. We realized during the first year, though, that it takes a lot more than just space to have a successful makerspace. It also takes the equipment, tools, and materials that are inside that space. I was fortunate enough to win, then, a few grants so that we now have an assortment of some tools, some hand tools, filament for the 3D printer, and fortunately, at the end of last school year, I also won a grant to receive a two and a half axis carving machine. Our superintendent here always kicks off the year encouraging the teachers at Melrose High School to be willing to take risks. So I decided to jump right in with my CAD class with this new carving machine. I wasn't sure how the kids would respond, but the project that I presented them with was to create a tabletop game. For this project, the biggest requirements was that they had to use either the 3D printer or the carving machine. They also, of course, had to pick a game that they wanted to model after and design and build it. I didn't know how they would respond, but it turns out that I couldn't have been more proud of them and their projects. They created board games that challenged them and me in so many ways. Multiple times, students commented that this project was so much more inspiring because they actually had to turn their design into a reality. This meant that any mistake that they made in the design also got translated into the build, and that's where they really saw the difference between just a project on a computer versus a project in a makerspace where they actually build their project. My name is Benjamin McNeely. I'm a senior here at Mellors High School in the engineering and mechanical oriented CAD class. We started um, this five-man battleship project where we carved one complete top and bottom board. We also 3D printed ships and pegs for it. The limitations of our tools such as the carving machine and the 3D printer is that the bit size would determine the hole diameter in our boards. The carve times for the carving machine were way too high. Um, it took almost a day to do one complete board. 3D printing inaccuracies were all over the place because of cooling and it would, it would melt and it would deform. If we were to win this contest, the laser cutter would be a game changer. We could carve faster. We could um, pull off edges because currently with a round bit, we cannot do any edges in any carving we do. My name is Noah Garnier. I'm a senior at Melrose High School. I've been a CAD student for four years, and I'm really interested in 3D printing, partly because of CAD and the 3D printer and all the other cool classes that I've taken, planning and going to engineering in college and in my career. So our 3D printer, it's not perfect, and it definitely has some problems. For example, I'm on the robotics team for our school, and the hex hubs for the axles on the wheels, even though the CAD model is perfect, or to the dimension that is specified on the part, we have to try multiple times to get the scale right so that the 3D printer will actually print out at the scale we want, even though the dimensions are right. For parts with high levels of infill on the inside of the part, the lack of heated print bed with our printer makes it curl up from the print bed and ruin the print. So we can't even do high infill prints. So the printer that we could win is so much better. It's got the two print heads, which allows us to do dissolvable support material, which makes it much easier to make much more complicated parts. It makes anything that we can do so much better. The heated print bed makes it so that we can do high strength parts with high infills without having any problems with curling off the print bed. It's so much better. It also supports multiple different colors of print, so it makes it much easier to make much more intricate parts and the different supported materials of plastic other than PLA, like ABS, allows it for stronger prints overall and allows us to paint them with easier sanding. My name is Melissa Aguirre Pinellos and I'm a senior at Melrose High. I take both CAD engineering and architecture, so I do Inventor and Revit. The reason why I chose both of them was because I'm very interested in the engineering aspect and I was curious about what goes into computer-aided design. For engineering, we actually did a project that was creating a game and I designed and created Connect4 where we then had classes come in and even play our games. This year we had a field trip 
going to Boston Architectural College. That's when I realized that we were missing something in architecture that was there in engineering, which was the building. I saw skilled models and I was thinking, why aren't we doing the same thing? But then I realized that we had a lack of resources. If we had the resources to do a scale model, then it could convey a sense of depth, texture, and dimension that a simple CAD model can't create. So now that students are asking me for the next project because they were so excited about that tabletop games project, they are coming to me now and saying, Miss G, can we make a marble run? Miss G, can we make a wooden 3D puzzle? Miss G, can we make an LED display? I would love to be able to say to them, yes, let's get going, let's build these projects. But unfortunately, our makerspace still has some limitations. If we are fortunate enough to win this contest, I would be able to say to my students, yes, let's go build these projects because we would then have a laser cutter. We would have an advanced 3D printer. In addition to not only my own classes, other classes at the Melrose High School could benefit as well. I have an architecture class for which we want to make 3D models. The art classes could use them, including photography, graphic design, and the math classes could take advantage as well. In addition to these classes, we have a US First robotics team here at the high school that is desperate for access to precision manufacturing equipment to quickly prototype their design ideas. Lastly, the electronics kits and Arduinos available through the contest would open up possibilities for an entirely new class here at the high school to better serve students interested in electrical engineering or perhaps allow our computer science club access to hands-on real-world coding applications. Having the new equipment that this contest could provide would be a game changer here for Melrose High School in our makerspace and it would really motivate our students to take their learning to the next level. Mm -hmm.